No more crazy here playing Battlefield 4 Conquest. We're going to be using the Phantom Bow, which is actually quite easy to unlock. I will probably do a video on that very shortly. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the Phantom Bow. It's, it's absolutely okay. It's absolutely glorious. I think about having Broadhead. Should we have Broadhead? I don't know. Cause look at my arrow. Oh, the, the, the arrow. Uh. Let's see. Ripple? No. Blue Tiger! Yes! A sidearm is a G18. Lovely weapon. And of course, you, you, you just have to have the Mavs. Oh, look at this. 2v2. So we need two more guys in here. In the meantime, let's go. Let's hope we can reach... 15 likes on this in this video and also comment and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more of this type of gameplay and yeah guys let's see if we can kill this guy with the bow <laughs> I, I rarely use it I'm, I don't have a good shock so I've only got this this iron sight but that messed up I don't think he spawned in. Is he on my team? Oh, no, he's got. No, he's on. You know, he's on the other team. I don't know who he is. Okay, we may need to go and find a different server than this. Hey, look, IEDs. That is a lot. Explosions! Really? I'm so gonna die because I was just like around the shooting over there for like two minutes. Strange that the ID is on Xbox. I don't know. What actually do? You ever do when you shoot it? Oh, you throw a grenade at it? They explode. Where is this guy? Hello? Anybody home? I can't just smash through everything, I'm like, nope, screw it. Bye! Tree protects me. Oh, another tree. <laughs> Did the tree realize it was getting shot? Plus, that's the wrong header, I think. I shouldn't have chosen. I really shouldn't have chosen broad header, guys. So, what I think is we should go for this one. And we should get on this. And we should go fuck shit up. Okay, now it's, now it's a 2v. 2v1. This is just like Call of Duty. Except without the zombies. That'd be awesome if it did though. Imagine that battlefield has zombies. That'd be awesome. Oh wait, no. Wait. I'm gonna think of it now. Battlefield 
Yeah, it's good. Mix up with zombies? No, 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 no. Bad idea. Hey, what the hell's this? Ooh. Can we play with this for a little while? Yes, guys, come on. We got this game going. Loads of people are going to be joining. We're going to be using the Phantom Bell constantly and we're going to be wrecking stuff with the explosive rounds. Hey, look at that. We spawned on the other team. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's your point now. Thank you. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, let's see how many people are in here. 2v2. Ooh, 2v2. Hmm. 2v2. Oh, you know, I'm just going to be like this guy that just does this. Alright, let's go. Because <laughs> we don't need this one yet. Let's capture E. Get this thing. I know the stream says devil. A devil bow. Is that my falling? Yes. Yes, it is. Hey, fan of Alex, you know what the name is. One thing I like about this boat is because it, it's just so quiet. Yeah. I knew he was there, I just couldn't find him. Because the boat's so quiet, you can like go in a team deathmatch and you can use it, and it's pretty good. This it's really quiet. It's it's already capped. 
you got just plain iron sights, these stabilizers, all heads. I think that causes more, no. I'm wondering how the broadhead causes more damage than the explosive round. Bam. God damn it. It's supposed to that's the thing with him. It's like, do 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 do, and you're like, wait. I think I'm like the guy in my team just gave up. He's out like, nope. Look at this. No. Shang it in the way. This is TV one. Oh wow, wow. Are you serious? But I think that that's a bit gay that they've, you know, moved on to there because they have all the objectives. This is, like, why most people are going back to COD. Because then you can't change the teams. But I mean, it's what? 1v4. Oh, wait, no. One guy came back. Yep, one guy came back. So now it's like 2v4. Still, it's unfair. I think this that this should actually be stopped. I've seen guys because I've seen this constantly. Like with Twenty First Gaming, we've seen this. So many times, there's been people change. Like if they're on the losing team, th they will automatically change um, to the winning team just to win. We call them most. We call I call them mostly like there is people at OCDs. No offense to them, but these guys have to win. We call them an OCD win.
There we go, the guy's got my python. My python. And they use it against me. So. Yep, look at this. Because there's, there's two of us. Look, there's two of us. And there's two... two there's four of them. And they're going to have more firepower. So they're going to have all this, this, that, this. And I cannot place down the flipping mortar tube. Okay, now splash. Now it's having his low hand down. Now they have all the objectives, it's just time to kill and spawn. And there they go. Now all they need to do is wait outside our spawn and we're dead. I'm telling you, watch. You put your bed once. So let's. You know what? Let's see if we can get a mod tube up. Yeah. There we go. I, I swear to God, it, because they're going to win. It's basically typically not fair that people can do this to get on the winning side.
Look at that, guys. I was trying to be quiet because I didn't want to try and, you know, throw off the... So I want to try and hear where he's shooting from. To get a good reception. Like I said, guys, I'm probably gonna leave this game because look at it. Look at this. Ten to six. There's three v one. I've been resorted to use the LMGs, the mortar tube, which is apparently broken because I died. Just yeah, because I'm stuck in buildings. And this happens. Nearly every game, every time I play, every possible game that you can do, there are there are these people that want to win and think it's fine to go and swap the team because they're winning. Now I got, I got now I got someone on my team. Hopefully we can do something. I'm gonna leave that mortar right there. Leave the mortar too. And go this way. Guys, but comment if you... If this has ever happened to you where you've had... A 2v2, then a 3v1, and a 4v1, and a 4v2. If you've ever had that type of game. I think people that make Battlefield should actually try and see this, see the problem with this. Because I mean, people shouldn't be allowed just to go and change the team to the winning side. Because the other side is winning. I mean... We, we're trying to, uh... Well, I'm trying to... Win the game. But... Two, one guy on my side decided to go into theirs and went, you know, you know what? Yeah. Let's let's go and be this guy that has to uh that has to um like go on his team and this and that. I mean it's a bit rubbish that people are doing this. It's I mean it's stupid really. And there's my exact point. Because once there's a guy shooting, and then there's another guy, there's gonna be more and more and more. And this is this is why I hear about Battlefield. You try and do something, you try and do you you wanna play the game right. Next me you know. You got these types of guys who come in. And basically want to win. I call him an OCD runner. I'm not being offensive to um, anyone that actually is OCD. I just want to make that very clear. Um, but we 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 give them, we give people nicknames for what they do. People that sit in havocs, we call them we call them um, hell noobs. So always in a helicopter, no matter what. In a helicopter, in tanks, in LAVs. And they will sit at your spawn or fly above your spawn and kill you. And that's exactly what them guys did. Sat at the spawn. Yeah, sure, let's kill him. 3v1. Sure, let's, let's, let's team up with that guy. I mean, it's a bit gay. It's, it's rubbish if you ask me. I'm, 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 I'm not being offensive to people or certain said people but um i mean i speak well if you guys watch um 21st gaming go and subscribe to his channel and likes like some of his videos 
and we were on the same team and we, we would have a bit of fun in a mav but we we were just having fun with that seeing what we seeing what we could get and uh yeah so now look it's a 3v2 so t i think the pressure's on them again because there's three of us and just two of them so it is going to be hard i thought about bringing out the rifle and setting up somewhere and just taking shots but i want i want to show you guys the bow i'm going to do a video on how you find it this will be a legit i will start it from the start of the thing to show that it is legit because you guys can see i clearly have it in my infantry i have it on my person and i shall do a video on how to unlock it for you guys um you, you don't need premium i have premium this is how i'm on these maps but you guys yeah see what we lost but you guys don't you don't need premium for this you just need um, the new maps that came out uh i don't know what they're called but you need uh the brand new maps Actually, wait, no, you know what? I'm going to show you right now, because I, I don't want to be in a game mode where there's a bunch of people swapping teams, because one, one team's winning and one team's not. I mean, no, no, no one really does that, basically. So, this is, um, okay, so you have to go into the Community Operations Large Offense, okay? So you have to go into this map. Okay, and as you can possibly see, if I do this, and I go in my profile... That, the little P on the left of my name means I have premium. So I have all I have all maps. I mean, I can go on uh, Conquest, and I will even show. Look, I have all these. Are, these maps are all free that I got with premium. Uh, you get all maps. I got all weapons with premium. So I uh, I own a premium. So I am on premium on Battlefield. So there is a way of like I think you have to get a code. And open a door or do a challenge i think but i will show you this is for anyone anyone that wants a phantom bow without premium um who doesn't want to spend all the money for premium but has this map so who have, whoever has operation outbreak whoever has this map um you can do this basically okay this this is what you can do to get the phantom bow Hopefully. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of conquest games. So it is restarting the ranks. I think I just joined. But I will show you. I will try and show you so quickly. Okay, yeah, I think the game is going to restart. One, three, two. One. Okay, so if you come over here without doing what I did. Okay, so come over to Sea Flag in whatever you have. Uh, tank, helicopter, uh, quad bike, or an LA. I think you get an LAV on this map. So look, this this is the Python boat in my hand. It's good. It, it comes with a uh, full set. And someone has already opened it, but look, there's the phantom bow. You can pick it up, and now it should be in your infantry. And it comes with a p uh, poison bow, but once you die, you can, you know, rechange it back. You can change it back to the uh, one that I had, wherever that was dropped. I'm wondering if this one opens. But it is this box here, the grey box. So if you find these grey boxes here, hit the top of it. Start hitting it like this. You you will be flashbanged for a while. So sorry if the screen goes white. Sorry for the people that um with really bad eyesight. I'm very sorry about that. But you come over here, the Python boat is there. Hold down triangle and it should come up. This is in your DMRs, so this is a DMR weapon. And this is for anyone that doesn't have premium. It's in this spot between C and E in this nice little hole. It's an ammo crate. Come over hit this until you get flash banged like I say pick up the bow and you now own the thun the phantom so if you're like level 10 and you have this map quickly try and get it here without dying or get your friends to come and help 
do that and you all can get a phantom bow for free you don't need premium you don't need nothing and it's it's free and it works really well you get a poison dart which i'm using right now uh, the explosive tips which i've been using broadhead bolt it's like i think there's four headers you get a stabilizer and also the iron sight which is not changeable and the stabilizer is not changeable but the colors and the color of it and the bolt is so yeah guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video leave a like and subscribe and also comment if you want to try and see more gameplay slash hidden part hidden um hidden weapons if i find any more and yeah guys um my name is Snowball Crazy, and yeah guys, peace out!